Replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point A. Let's break these two forces down to components first. So we got a 3, 4, 5, so 100 turns to 60 and 80. And another 3, 4, 5, so the vertical 30 times 40 would be 120 and 30 times 3 is 90. So summing the forces in the x components and we have negative 80 plus 90 plus 50. The result is 60 pounds. Sum the forces in the y we have negative 120, negative 60 gives us negative 180. So the resultant force is equal to 60 in the I minus 180 in the J. And uh, those are both pounds. Now some of the moments about A. The first thing we have right here at this point, the 90 is drawn out here, but it actually goes through there, so it has no, it goes through A, so it doesn't have any effect. Now the 120 times 3 will cause a rotation that way, which by the right hand rule is negative. The 50 goes through A, so it doesn't matter. Now on this one, the the X and the Y components both cause rotation, cause a moment. So we'll start with the 60. The 60 is going through there, and it has a distance of 6. And that will also cause rotation in the counterclockwise, so that's negative. Now the 80 will cause rotation, or in the clockwise. The 80 will cause rotation in the clockwise direction. So that is positive because the thumb would be pointing up with the right hand rule. And so we have 80 times 1. Summing all that, we get negative 640 pound feet.